yourself to what we're gonna see on the top of the, on the second term. Mm -hmm. So, but we are not very sure about this casing here. We are sure about the casing there. Yeah. But some Egyptologists they try to make a routine for everything. I saw this shape, and this is another pyramid, so it could be the same. But yeah. uh, many they don't uh, believe that this is a um, real thing. This is maybe was made, or it could be half, or it could be one layer, because in other pyramids we're going to see layers of granite not mm. limestone the casing yeah. the final casing mm -hmm. is granite not limestone okay. like the ones on the third pyramid and the bees of the middle pyramid mm -hmm. so this is probably or possibly later later work no it's original with it but muhammad is saying that uh, just to have the whole pyramids cased to the top mm. doesn't have we like we don't That's have a solid must. evidence mm. yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we only figure out this because we saw the example on other pyramids mm -hmm. and that's what we usually do because as i told you since the middle kingdom 2100 bc mm -hmm. and this is what's officially written but we know that it actually was happening since the old kingdom yeah. Just vibrations yeah. but he didn't understand what kind of what kind of vibration so the the, his background is was built on earthquakes vibrations. He didn't believe that this is the by, by, uh, vibrations because of energy. Yeah. Because of like uh, an activation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a huge engine. Sound and the resonance. Engine. Mm -hmm. Electromagnetic So he related pulse. such vibrations to earthquakes. Mm -hmm. But yeah. when you read our history, in in the last three four thousand years, we have like four. Earthquakes. Yeah. That's right, because I was always told that these were always made to be earthquake proof because there were mm -hmm. so many earthquakes. Where is it? Right, the yeah. yeah. The uh, the um, the last major earthquake we had one 1992, mm -hmm. and before 1992 it was the 14th century. Oh wow! Imagine, it's a long. That's a uh, lot. It's hundreds of years. Yeah. Okay. So you you're gonna see so many facts but hidden in somehow in the Egyptology uh, stories mm -hmm. yeah okay. they can mention the erosion in the stone is one of the other mysteries and in some cases people think the inner walls were uh, that they used already deteriorated stones but this one here was on the casing like the other ones we saw on the other side so imagine how long would it take for it to erode, to erode like this? Yes, yes. to be eaten away or to be. And you must put in your mind something that also, as we explained about earthquakes, mm -hmm. it's not uh, famous in Egypt. Also, bad weather is not famous in Egypt. Mm -hmm. We don't have bad weather at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Against the storm. We, we can say we have long summer time, and we have it rains here. You know, as maybe. Um, if you are from a country, have lots of rain, you will not realize that it is raining in Egypt. Mm -hmm. It rains like five minutes and that's it. And then another day, two, three minutes, 10 minutes, maybe maximum 30 minutes. So it, it does this like five times in the winter time. Mm -hmm. So we don't have much rain. Mm -hmm. We don't feel rain in Egypt. So erosions and also humidity is not very high in Egypt. Uh, summer is dry. Uh, winter time the humidity is not uh, very effective because of the uh, cold weather so it, if we are using this as an evidence but a very good geologist team a uh, group of geologists they can tell us how long it takes to make it like this with the egyptian conditions mm -hmm. but no one is trying to think this way except for robert chuck right yeah but robert chuck i believe that um, I don't know, some kind of pressure maybe happened mm. or no support. Ancient rain. Yeah. Ancient, the type yeah. of rain that you mm. are more than, than uh, 10,000 no, years okay. ago. Thank you. The timeline, mm -hmm. according to such new evidences. So you saw the sharp ones on the other side. Mm. So what caused this? And why from this side and mm. not the other side? Mm -hmm. Why the other side the stones remain in a good condition? Mm. Maybe the direction of rain, because in Egypt it is west, uh, northwest. Mm. Yeah, because more than just rain, or it will be like 
Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> I rock climb and I I always, you know, in California we have heavy, you know, anywhere near the coast when you climb, yeah. it's very, very similar. But what, what we see is chalky. You know, anything that's been heavily water eroded, there's a lot of chalk. Mm -hmm. So you always have to clean it. Mm -hmm. But I don't see any of the, like mm -hmm. even deep inside, there's no more dust. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which, which you should see. I believe for some reason, this, like, when I talked to the geologist, she said like uh, this could be like the mist flooding down and then eating away some of the soft stuff in the limestone. It's not that type of limestone anyway. Mm. But her, the way I saw it, and she said this is this can be like uh, an mist. eye trick for you, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I saw that the the stone itself like shed a liquid from the inside. This mm. is how I see it. I am not a professional geologist, mm -hmm. but I feel like that the stone really something was happening that it used to shut this this uh, uh, like mist or this liquid out mm -hmm. and when it came out from it, its own it deteriorated structure. from the inside yeah. out i don't mm -hmm. i'm not a professional geologist but and we see this in some places it. we see the stone is leaking out mm -hmm. yes. a kind of liquid not rain liquid or not, not rain uh, uh, water it's something comes from inside the stone Right, because wouldn't you see the the weathering going more straight down than angled, mm -hmm. if that was the case? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be... And other cases, mm -hmm. uh, there is the stone that you see uh, in the megalithic uh, temples, if we can call them temples, the ones that they are connected to the pyramids, which they label them as the funerary temples. Mm -hmm. They have the inner wall, the, the wall is, is like quite wide. The inner wall, which we're going to see also, mm -hmm. is made from limestone and then it has another two layers of, of granite that I don't like to call them casing stones as they... Mm. Because when you label them as casing stone, then like... You the, lose uh, the, the it, meaning, like you, yeah, the intention, through, right, yes, right. Because mm -hmm. the, some, in some cases, like in Abu Sijil, you will find that the, the outside granite is actually thicker than the inner wall. So why did they didn't just build it? all from granite right mm -hmm. if you wanted a granite right. and there's there is a line like this thick from limestone and there's casing like this, this thick from, from granite, granite stone so right we had a, a, a device that uh, produced the <laughs> electromagnetic field nice job mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. and uh, it was made by uh, an engineer and uh, when we tested the different types of stones on it we found that limestone was the best to really? conduct the, the electromagnetic current. Mm. It was as good as gold and silver. Really? Really. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I saw we, it myself one day. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have a ca copper stick. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. Something you can you even use to, your hand. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, the electromagnetic field can be inducted even through plastic, and through you can stone, feel through anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 